Hey beautiful, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you've been here before, it's your girl Farida, also known as Curly Proverbs. And around here is no kinks, no curls and no coils left behind. We do not discriminate, we're just all about the Ayurvedic hair care life, holistic approaches to hair care. And we get results that bang if we do say so ourselves. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about a Boss hair growth oil with hand picked ingredients that are just gonna have your hair flourishing, shiny, thickening up, retaining length, um, increasing the diameter, then follicles go, awakening those follicles you thought were long dead. That's what this oil is gonna do for you. And we have receipts that our other oils deliver also. Uh, but before we get into the video, I do wanna say a massive thank you to all of you who turned up for the launch of the Amla powder uh, collection. And uh, you guys have been phenomenal as per usual. If you didn't know, we dropped um, an Amla collection and you guys, the response has been absolutely insane. So from the bottom of my heart, I just wanted to say thank you. So let's get into the intro. So this video is gonna be divided into two segments. So in the first segment, I'm actually gonna be talking you through some of the traditional ways that Ayurveda oils have been made. There's actually two traditional ways, but there's four methods that you can use to make your Ayurvedic oil and to ensure the goodness has actually infused into the oil before you use it in your hair. And in the second segment, I'm actually gonna be talking you through some options as far as ingredients that you can use um, because Oils can basically be um, given your own personality, your own flair. You can grab things that you might have available that might not be mentioned in this video. So hopefully I can give you some ideas as far as ingredients that you can incorporate. If that segment sounds of interest to you and you'd like me to go into more detail, definitely comment below and let me know if you would like a new up-to-date dedicated Ayurvedic herbs um, arsenal video or a video as far as like Ayurvedic herbs that I would recommend that you have in your collection let me know and I will definitely do that for you okay let's get into the methods okay so every ingredient in this oil has been selected because it very much impacts hair growth there's studies to support it and I'm just gonna quickly talk about each ingredient so amla of course we've talked about how it increases follicle numbers and hair thickness it packs a punch with vitamin c and fatty acids that can penetrate in and it definitely stimulates growth and speeds up the hair growth cycle as well fenugreek guys i've talked about it a thousand times vitamin a vitamin c vitamin k folic acid potassium iron calcium protein all of these essential hair growth both, um, nutrients are in there of course we've we've done many profile studies on this channel on this particular um, seed and it can be sprouted to change the nutrient profile you can make teas with it it really is a powerhouse olive oil of course conditions it adds softness and it has the size molecule that's able to actually penetrate into the hair so it doesn't just sit on the surface of the hair the benefits actually go through and through and it really does add shine and it really does add add smoothness, smooths down the cuticles, etc. Carrot oil, guys, even if you only used carrot oil, you would see a massive difference in your hair thickness. It is really, really nutrient dense as long as you have a high quality one. Downside is that it can stain, so be super careful with it, but it is so nutrient dense, vitamin A, C, vitamin K, all that good stuff. And you will really see a difference with using this. Clove, clove has an excellent amount of antioxidants. It has vitamin A and C as well. Um, sodium, phosphorus, iron, calcium, it's antifungal 
And in fact, guys, if you ever have a toothache, using clove oil works so well. The first time I used it to literally eradicate an, a serious toothache I had, I knew I was onto a very, very potent herb. And it's also the same with your hair growth. Very, very potent garlic of course i had to go in with this it's up to you how much you can tolerate in your oil but it contains sulfur which is completely critical to your hair structure and therefore hair growth the more sulfur you have available the faster your body can actually grow your hair so i would definitely recommend including that in your hair growth oil mustard seeds guys omega-3 omega-6 fatty acids this really does help to strengthen the hair from within again it is a traditional oil that has been used for centuries even as just a standalone let alone here in this powerhouse oil with all these other ingredients <laughs> first method super simple anybody can do this and in fact it is the method that i use for my original fenugreek elixir diy recipe video which by now i think is probably hit about 2 million views and was the original video that got amazing results for people who were um, having all kinds of hair issues so this basic recipe definitely definitely works uh, what i would recommend is grabbing yourself a jar popping in the oils of choice and then putting in your herbs essential oils if you wish but make sure that the herbs you are using are completely dried and desiccated you want there to be no moisture here so for this particular recipe you definitely can't go and get a fresh sprig of lavender or rosemary for example it has to be completely dried out and desiccated thoroughly otherwise you're going to come back and find you open the jar and it's completely rancid so you grab your herbs you put it in with your oils and then put the lid on and place it into a dark cupboard for a matter of about three weeks preferably somewhere warm like maybe a boiler cupboard and once you come back it's completely infused and in fact you can go ahead and just strain and remove from the top and use as and when needed <laughs> second method is very similar to the first one except you are slowly heating um, over a shorter period of time so you would grab yourself some kind of low heated pan heavy base pan or a slow cooker and you would put your herbs and oils into here i know vendors of very well-known oils that actually use this method over the course of a day two days where they slowly heat the oil and they slowly heat the herbs the advantage of this is that you are not going to burn your herbs you give the ingredients that are in there a chance to slowly be released and you really are able to maximize the amount of um, goodness is released before there's any chance of anything getting burnt or becoming denatured you're using a much much lower level of heat so um, the proteins and, and all the different things being denatured or changed is a lot lot less likely to happen so you're getting that goodness infused into your oil so I really really do like this method in fact I would have to say that it's my absolute favorite just drop it in the pan put the lid on and leave it and come back to it in a day or 12 hours whatever you set your timer to
Guys, at this point, I feel like a big fat grease ball and like I have sweated all my makeup off. It's been so hot in this kitchen, but I feel so accomplished because this smells literally on the money. I don't know if anybody else has this, but I have this thing where if I smell something and it's from a distant past, it actually takes me to exactly that moment. Do you get that? Does anybody get that with smells? So this takes me back to when I used to go to this spa called IU Spa in West London and they had all their Ayurvedic oils made on site. It smells just like that. And I have to say, it's the first time I've achieved that with an Ayurvedic oil. And I literally feel like this is about to be the best oil I have ever made. And I cannot wait to use this in a hot oil treatment. In fact, I'm probably gonna use it tonight. The color's right, the smell is right. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. This is one of the traditional old school methods that were used in times gone by with the original gurus and swamis when they were making up um, Ayurvedic oils for a range of different medicinal and just holistic self-care purposes, they would actually incorporate water into the process. So here you're actually adding your herb and you're using water as well as oil because the profile of nutrients you're able to extract this way is completely different. I would say that the nutrient profile from this is going to be higher because you're able to bring to the surface not just the fat soluble goodness but also the water soluble goodness as well so that is brought out and then the water evaporates out leaving that goodness in your oil and then at the same time all of the oil soluble goodness like any of the fats the fatty acids any of the fat soluble vitamins your vitamins d your vitamins e your vitamin K, that's all being pulled out into that fat anyway. So this method, in my humble opinion, is the absolute best for the nutrient profile. But the downside to this is, if you mistakenly leave any water in your oil, then you are going to end up with a rancid oil at the end. You have to be very, very patient. You have to heat until all the water has evaporated and then you can go ahead and strain out your herbs and then place into a container. And the other pro to this is that you can use fresh as well as dry herbs. So you can go ahead and you can use some fresh lavender, fresh rosemary, fresh henna leaves, fresh amla grated, for example, um, fresh shakai kai, brahmi, whatever it is, onion, garlic, that's also fantastic. Um, you can use that in this. And so you're going to be able to elevate your uh, nutrient extraction game using this method, but it's not for the impatient. <laughs> method you go and you grab dry and fresh herbs and hey you could throw in some chopped onion garlic curry leaves like whatever ingredients you want to use simmer that down heat that up until your herbs end up completely blackened. You know at that point, all of the goodness has come out and it's completely dried. You can go ahead and you can strain off your herbs and you're left with a dark oil. So that is the fourth and final method. Um, the good thing about this is again, of course, that you can use both dry and fresh herbs and ingredients. But the downside again is that you need to make sure that you get all of that water out to avoid a rancid oil in no time. So I hope you found this video to be useful. Definitely, definitely give this a try. Even if you've only got one herb and one oil in your cabinet, 
definitely do this because it will elevate your hair growth game, it will invigorate your follicles, and it will help you to retain more length in literally the most unadulterated way possible. But if you're kind of lazy and you are not about that DIY life, don't worry, I have got you. We do carry the fenugreek elixir on my website and uh, because it is made using the exact, exact methods that we discussed in this video, um, it's unadulterated and it's, it's getting some fantastic reviews. So definitely check it out. I'm gonna have that linked below. Uh, until the next video, make sure you take care of yourself. Deuces.